So in a transition, as part of a transition uh, initiative, as part of a community making this transition, will look like people taking care of themselves, so taking time out from the stress and the possible overwhelm of uh, dealing with these enormous challenges that we're facing, people supporting each other, people bringing really good skills in facilitation to have meetings where people leave feeling more energised than they started. Um, it's people spending time out in nature or um, with each other or making or expressing themselves. It's about bringing art and beauty into the ways that we work. So that what we're doing as we make this really intense and demanding journey also feels satisfying and nourishing on every level of our being. Our society sometimes seems to be all about doing and achieving rather than time to be still and appreciate where we are and the way that life and its wonders carries on around us. I think inner transition work has got two sides to it. The first is a personal one. Inner transition has to be a personal thing. It's a method of giving oneself energy, resilience, and, and stopping burnout, which happens to us all. And secondly, it's a method of providing the same thing for the transition movement in the town as a whole, to energize it, get it to celebrate, uh, and get more energy into doing what it's doing. Um, so inner transition is important because as a collective group we all share responsibility for our actions and so it's um, important that we reflect on ourselves, uh, reflect on each other, work together so we can build a more resilient community. The inner transition for me brings the good news that material affluence is not what makes us happy as human beings. So there's research that shows that beyond just getting our subsistence needs met, increasing amounts of material consumption doesn't improve the quality or the satisfaction in our lives. So, so the inner transition is part of what we really need to understand. What is it about us as humans that enables us to, to feel connected, that our lives are meaningful, that our relationships are satisfying and rich? We, we have managed to embed ourselves in the community, the council, with the local government, the local council, and the National Park Authority. So they accept what we're doing, that we're working for the health and well-being of the community, and we're bringing lots of different organisations together in order to do that. And I think even though we may not be talking directly about inner work, just the fact that we're trying to encourage that sense of well-being, we're doing it anyway. It's needed because we will be happier if we do something internal as well. And that's really what it's all about.